Hello everybody, I'm Mrs Donaldson and I'm the head teacher at Cramond. If you don't know me already, really looking forward to the 12th of August when we can start welcoming children back into the school. I can't wait till we hear the noise of people talking and learning in classes, having fun together and enjoying spending time with the staff. It won't be long now and I'm sure we're all going to start having a fantastic time back at school. I'm really glad you're going to join Cramming Primary. Hello boys and girls, my name's Miss Hughes and I am the acting deputy head teacher and also I manage lots of things to do with support for learning and making sure everyone's getting all the help they need in order to learn in the best way they possibly can. I'm really looking forward to seeing you all and starting back at school and I will see you all after the summer holidays. Bye! Hello, it's Mr Short here. I'm going to be teaching outdoor learning next year as well as a day in primary six and I'm going to tell you a bit about myself. So I live in Kostorfin with my wife and my three children, Hugh, Jules and Olivia, and we have a cat, a black and white cat called Rolo. Um, some of my likes, uh, as you can imagine, I love the outdoors. So whenever I get the opportunity, I like to go out mountain biking and hill walking. And in the winter, I enjoy snowboarding. I'm also a really big football fan. Aston Villa is my team so I'm crossing my fingers and hoping that we don't get relegated this season. Um, I also love food and I like to cook and uh, whenever the sun's out I see it as an opportunity to get the barbecue out um, and cook up a storm. Dislikes, um, I don't have many but one thing I do dislike is marzipan so when it comes to Christmas I'm always looking to avoid that. Um, now I'm looking forward to teaching you next year and getting to know you better and I hope that you have a fantastic summer. Just a quick message to say that I'm really looking forward to teaching primary PE at Cramond after the summer holidays on the Tuesdays and Wednesdays. I hope you all have a fantastic summer and I look forward to catching up in August. Hi boys and girls. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Mr Bennett and I'm going to get the chance to teach gym on a Thursday next year. I'm really looking forward to getting the opportunity to work with boys and girls in all of the year groups and I'm really looking forward to planning some fun gym activities. For those of you that had me before, you know that I absolutely love teaching gym and I think it's really really important that you get active and have fun in the gym hall and outside. I'm really looking forward to it and I hope you guys are too. See you after the summer. Hi Primary One, my name is Mr Robinson and if you're in the Hedgehog's classroom I'm going to be your teacher this year. Mrs Turner and I were both in Primary One last year and we're really excited to be staying in Primary One and for school to come back in August. We can't wait to meet you all and I'm very excited to see all the new Hedgehogs that are coming in. To tell you a little bit about myself, I am from Northern Ireland which is a different country to Scotland but I live in Edinburgh and I have been at Cramond for three years now. I'm not at school, I like to watch rugby and I also had a rugby club in school before so if that's something you're interested in maybe we could do some rugby and I like to go for lots of walks. I have a new puppy called Oscar and he's only four months old so he's still very young so he keeps me busy and we go on lots of walks. I like to do maths and number learning, I like to do reading and I like to get outside and do PE as well which is really good because we have the primary one garden this year as well. I also have someone else who is really excited to meet you all and can't wait for school to start back and this is Harry the Hedgehog. Harry is a very important member of the Hedgehog classroom and he is so excited for school to come back and to meet all of the new primary ones. So I'm really looking forward to meeting you all and in the next video you will see a little clip of the school and you'll get to see your classrooms and the P1 area. So I hope you enjoy and I'll talk to you very soon. Bye. Hi boys and girls, I hope you're all well. My name is Mrs Turner and I'm going to be your primary one teacher if you're in the squirrels. I am really, really excited to meet you all and to see you when you come to start school in August. To tell you a little bit about myself, I live in Cramond with my husband Mr Turner and my two daughters Emma and Zoe. They came to this school as well when they were little but they're all grown up now and a few weeks ago we got a new puppy and he's called Bowden and he's really keeping us all on, his, on our toes. He's got lots and lots of energy. I, when I'm not at school I really like singing. 
and I sing in a choir. And that's why I like to do a lot of singing in school as well. And if you like singing, we have a special club called Mini Glee. And we get together and we sing some songs and you might like to join that if that's something that you're interested in. I like to do gardening and I've been growing lots of things in my garden. I've got some peas and carrots and some radishes. But that puppy I was telling you about, he likes to jump in and try and eat them. So we have to stop him from doing that. So boys and girls, I hope you're looking forward to coming to school. We're going to have so much fun together. There's somebody I would like you to meet. Now this, this is Sydney the Squirrel. And he's going to be with me on your first day at school to welcome you. And we're going to be here to help you, here to look after you, here to play with you and here to learn with you. So I hope you're looking forward to coming. I can't wait to meet you all and see you soon. Take care, keep having fun boys and girls and we'll see you when you come to school. Okay, bye bye. Hello boys and girls, my name is Mrs Forsyth and I am going to be your primary two teacher next year. You might already have seen me around the corridors in school or maybe even in my classroom in primary two, which will be your classroom next year. I've worked in Cramming for many years and especially in primary one and two. Let me tell you a little bit about myself. I have three children of my own. I have one little mad dog, a little black cocker spaniel, who keeps me busy with lots of walks. I like to go cycling and running. I like playing games with my children at home. I like to go on holiday to a little place called Ely, which is over the bridge in Fife. I like chocolate and I like being a teacher. And I'm really looking forward to meeting all of you and having fun in primary two. And in primary two, you will continue to learn your sounds to help you read and write more. We will look at numbers, bigger numbers and patterns within numbers. We will do different topics where you'll get to do some science experiments and find out about more about the local area and go out into the outdoor classroom and explore that. You will also get a chance to work together in groups and explore through play like you've been doing in primary one. So I'm very excited to meet you all and start our fun primary two together. I hope you have a brilliant summer holidays and I will see you all at the beginning of primary two. Bye bye boys and girls. Hello boys and girls. My name is Mrs Cottis and I'm going to be your new teacher next year when we come back in August. I should maybe have said I'm going to be one of your new teachers because this year you're going to have two teachers. So on a Monday and Tuesday, you're going to have Mr. Bennett and on a Wednesday, Thursday and Friday, you're going to have me. I've worked for a long time in Cramond and I've taught all stages. So perhaps if you've got any brothers or sisters, um, they might, I might have taught them. I think I might know some of you as well from Glee Club. I'm really excited about your teach, being your new teacher and teaching you new fun things. But the summer holidays are approaching. Next week, we're going to be breaking up for the holidays. So it's important that you stop work and have a break. We've really been impressed with all your hard work, all your home learning that you've been doing. But as I've just said, you need to stop and relax, have some fun. Hopefully the sun is going to shine and you'll be able to get outside and enjoy some nice weather. Okay, see you in August and have a lovely summer. Hi boys and girls. For those of you that don't know, my name is Mr. Bennett and I'm gonna be your teacher on a Monday and a Tuesday when you come back to school and join primary two. Lots of you know me from me seeing you around the school when you were in primary one and me coming to visit your classes with Mrs. Naeem and Mrs. Turner and Mr. Robinson. I am really looking forward to teaching P2. I think we're going to have loads of fun. Me and Mrs. Cottis are really looking forward to seeing all of you when we come back after the holidays. I hope you have a really nice summer and we'll see you soon. Bye.
Right guys, here we are at school. Here's the front of the school. And we've got Mrs. Fortune's office here. And right next to Mrs. Fortune's office, get what guess what we've got? P2E, this is now our P3E classroom. And it looks a bit the same. Hopefully we've got a library we can use. We've definitely got a library. I've put some nice chapter books in. We've got lots of little areas. This is right an area. We've got lots of tables, enough for if there's 30 of us, 15 of us, or 10 of us. And we just move things around for what we need. So here we go. We've got our whiteboards. We've got our timetable. We've got lots of activities we can do. And really, boys and girls, all it needs is you. And I hope to see you here soon. Bye bye. Hi, hello. Do you recognise where I am? Do you recognise these windows in this playground? That's right. I'm at Cramond Primary School and I'm in your brand new class. And it's all there in front of me now and I'm just getting it ready for you guys in August. So if you have any ideas for some things that I can do to make this classroom amazing, then write a comment in the learning journals and I'll see if I can put it into the class, okay? Um, I've got lots of ideas myself as well, but I know you'll have some super ideas. Um, so, my name's Mr. Shewan. I know that some of you know me already and I've had been lucky to be in your class when you were in P2 just for a little bit. So I know lots of your faces and I can't wait to be your teacher next year. Um, we're going to be in P3, can you believe it? You're getting bigger and bigger every year. Um, so yeah, a few things about me. I really love cooking, I love science, I love stories, I really love to write stories and I love to read stories and I like animals as well. And I really love teaching, one of my favourite things. I like teaching about looking after our planet. I like teaching creativity. I like it when you guys use your imagination. I like it when you work together as a team. And I like it when you're resilient as well. And I know you're going to be amazing at lots of those things because I've heard good things about you guys already. Um, so yeah, I'm sure you have lots of questions for August and you probably have things you're worried about. But it's going to be okay. We're going to look after each other in P3. We're going to be an amazing team and we're going to have an amazing year. Okay? Looking forward to it. Have a nice summer holidays and look after each other and look after your families. Okay? See you soon. Hello Primary 4. My name is Mrs Tennant and I'm going to be your teacher next year. I'm really looking forward to meeting you all and I've been looking at on Twitter and finding out all the different things that you've been doing on lockdown and I especially enjoyed looking at the amazing rafts that you've all been making. I can't wait to meet you all and learn about your talents and your interests and find a fun way of learning together. I've been teaching in the Leith area for over 20 years. I've taught at Leith Primary School and Lorn Primary School and I'm now really looking forward to coming to work at Cramon Primary School. Um, I've taught from nursery up to primary seven, so I've taught at lots of different stages and lots of different classes and I hope to bring lots of new ideas to you all at Cramond. The thing that I'm really looking forward to is meeting everybody and finding a fun primary four team and doing lots of fun activities together. Look forward to meeting you all in August. Hi boys and girls. I'm making this video to let you know that I'm going to be your teacher next year. Some of you may recognise me because throughout the year I was in the classroom just next door to you. For those of you that don't know me, I'm Miss Barr. I've been teaching at Cramond now for four years and I absolutely love teaching in primary four. I think it's the best year ever. The main reason I like teaching primary four is because the topics are all really good fun. My favourite topic is the Romans. Just to tell you a little bit about myself, things I like doing are playing hockey, watching rugby and football and visiting my friends and family. During lockdown, I've been doing a lot of cycling and baking. So today is Monday. So if at any point in this week, you've got any questions that you would like me to answer, I am on your Teams page. So in Teams, you can tag me using the at sign. So you write at 
you've got to use my first name, which is Amy. So if you do at Amy Barr and you ask me any questions, I'll try my very best this week to try and answer these. I'm just going to give you a little tiny sneak peek of the classroom because I'm there right now. Next year, when you come back to school, you're going to be in P4B. This is just a little look at what the classroom is going to look like. So the last thing that I would like to say is I hope you all have a lovely summer holiday. Make sure you do some relaxing and lots and lots of playing. Um, and I'm really looking forward to teaching you next year and getting to know each and every one of you. Have a lovely summer and stay safe. Hello Primary 3, my name's Mrs Stewart and next year I'm going to be teaching you one day a week. Now you'll have Miss Barr for most of the week but on a Tuesday I'll be your teacher. I'll also be teaching a Monday in the other Primary 3 class so I'm staying with your year group when you go into Primary 4. Now I think I know pretty much most of you. I've worked with your year group since you're all in Primary 1 and I've taught you all at some point. So I'm looking forward to teaching you again and seeing you all very soon when you go into primary four. Bye. Hello, boys and girls. I am Mrs Murdoch, your new primary four teacher. I am going to be teaching you on a Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday and Mrs Stewart will continue to teach you on a Monday. Now, I wish we were all together at Cramman Primary School this week so that I could introduce myself in person and meet you all in our classroom but seeing as that's not possible, I have made you this little video. Now, I know a lot of you will already know who I am. I may have taught a member of your family, a friend or a neighbour this year in primary six. Most of you came along to my classroom to come to the primary six enterprise stalls earlier this year. And I know a lot of you from speaking to you out in the playground and around the school. I'm really looking forward to next year and having lots of fun learning new things together. Our first topic in primary four is the Romans, which is going to be really interesting and super fun. I'm also looking forward to seeing all of your passion projects so that I can learn a little bit more about everyone in our class over the holidays. If you'd like to leave me a message or a question, please go onto your Teams page and use the at symbol followed by my name, Gillian Murdoch, and you can leave me a comment, a message, or ask me a question, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Now, I hope you all have a lovely summer holiday. Hopefully, as the weeks go by, we will get to see more and more of our family and friends. I know I'm looking forward to going lots of walks, family cycles, enjoying painting and drawing with my little boys, and making some yummy cakes. Have a great holiday, and I cannot wait to see you all in August. Hello, my name is Mr. Powell, and I'm going to be your teacher in P5. Now, I'm originally from New Zealand, which is why I sound a little bit funny, but I've been teaching now at Cramond for the past six years. Now, it certainly has been some strange times recently, working from home and using Teams and learning journals to do all your schoolwork. So I'm really looking forward to when school reopens in August and we can all get back into class and see everyone again. I really hope you have fun in my class and that you learn lots too and I've got lots of exciting things planned for when you return. Now I've got a bit of a challenge for you. I've got three things that I would really like you to try for when you are in my class and if you can do these three things then you are going to have a successful time no matter what. So number one, always try your best. Number two, always treat everyone with kindness and respect. And number three, to realize that it is okay to make mistakes because that is how we learn and grow as a person. So if you can do these three things for me, no matter what challenges you face, you are going to do just fine. I hope you have a great summer holiday and I'm really looking forward to seeing you back at school soon. Goodbye. Hello P4A, uh, soon to be P5D. I'm looking forward to teaching you next year and even though it's a little bit different, things might be a little bit different, um, I'm sure we'll still have loads of fun learning. Um, you might remember us learning together in P2 all those years ago and all the fun that we had with uh, art and 
making our poppies and our snowdrops. I also loved making the, do you remember the paper flowers and we made them open up? So I love science and art and maths. So hopefully we'll have lots of fun in P5, learning lots of new things. I love gardening and this is my view most days when I'm working from home. And this is my favourite spot to sit. I love cooking, so here are some of the herbs I've grown. And here's some of the fruit and veg growing in my veggie patch. Here's where I grow a lot of my berries, raspberries and blackberries, red currants. And the gooseberries are just about ready. And here's the greenhouse with the pumpkin and squash. They will all be ready for the autumn, hopefully. I'll be able to share them with you. And we can see some courgettes looking nice and healthy. Yum. And here is one of my dogs. This is Maddie. Here's my other dog, Toto. He keeps me company when I'm working from home. And I've also got some tropical fish and my daughter has two hamsters called Bella and Hammy. So as you can see, I love animals and plants and nature and the environment. Do you have any pets? Perhaps you can tell me all about them when we see each other in August. I also love to travel, especially around Asia and to take lots and lots of photographs. I'm looking forward to hearing about your adventures and the places where you've been. I've also taught in different countries, like in Cairo and Egypt for three years. Here is one of my classes on a felucca on the Nile. A felucca is a kind of a sailboat. I worked in Hong Kong for 11 years where I was responsible for teaching children about the environment. One of the best parts of this job was I got to travel to Indonesia a few times to work with the Masarang Foundation. The Masarang Foundation is a charity who helps people, animals, plants, and here we are ready to reforest an area of land to give the villagers back fresh water, fresh air, fresh food, and lots of animals. I got to stay with a village tribe in a little place called Tembak. Now to get to Tembak, if you imagine a flight to Hong Kong, which is over 13 hours, then from Hong Kong to Pontianak, which is in Borneo, in Indonesia, and then a flight from Pontianak to a little place called Sintang, right in the middle of Borneo, then a very bumpy jeep ride from Sintang right into the middle of the rainforest in Tembak. The jeep couldn't cross here, so we had to carry our backpacks across the river. Here I got to meet the villagers, meet some of the wildlife, especially the orangutans. Here is a forest school for rescued orangutans. This school helps to teach them how to get back into the wild. I love teaching about the rainforests and the environment. And I love it when children like to teach others about the environment. I especially love it when children take lots of action to help our world. Here are some of the things children donated from my last school. I was able to take to the animal rescue centres in Indonesia. I can't wait to hear all your suggestions to help our earth. So hopefully we'll have lots of fun learning in P5, uh, learning lots of new things. So looking forward to seeing you all in August.
Hi 5P, I'm Mr Cook and I'm going to be your new class teacher in August in P6. I'm really, really looking forward to seeing all of you back in school again and I'm really looking forward to the exciting year we've got ahead of us. Mr Powell's been sharing some absolutely awesome work that you've been doing at the moment and I know you've all been working really, really, really hard um, and I can't wait to see what we're going to come up with when we get back in P6. Um, I know Mr Powers mentioned that you really enjoy quizzes, so I thought, what better way to get to know me than give you a few questions and see if you can get the answers about me. So, let's give it a go and see if you can get the right answer. What's my favourite Disney franchise? Is it A, Frozen? Is it B, Star Wars? Or is it C, Avengers? As much as I love the song Let It Go, um, it's not A, I'm afraid, and B, I do like Star Wars, it is certainly up there, but my favourite is C, Avengers. My favourite hero is Captain America. What do you think would be my ideal pet? Is it A, a dog? B, a hamster? Or do you think it's C, a rabbit? Well, as much as I find rabbits and hamsters extremely cute, I would have to choose A. I really love dogs and I've always wanted one and I think they'd be really good for me to get out and get some walks and get some exercise. What fact do you think is true about me? A. I'm a fully qualified scuba diver. Is it B. I once performed in front of the Queen. Or is it C. I've competed in a running event at the Olympic Games. And the answer is B. I performed at the London Palladium in a musical called Oliver in front of the Queen for charity. I hope you all enjoyed that quick quiz about me. I'm really looking forward to seeing you all back in August. I hope you have a fantastic summer break. Enjoy it. Make sure you have lots of time to relax, but also have fun as well where you can. I'll see you soon. Girls. I was really excited to hear that I'm going to get the chance to take P5P next year on a Wednesday when you guys are in primary six. I was really lucky to get the opportunity to work with you a few times this year when Mr. Powell was out doing some bits and pieces and I was really and I really enjoyed getting to know quite a few of you. Mr. Cook and I are really excited about next year in P6 and what you guys are going to get up to and we're going to plan loads of fun activities and loads of fun things to be doing. I really hope you have a really good summer and we'll see you after the holidays. Speak to you soon. Hello Primary 5, soon to be Primary 6H. I was absolutely delighted when Mrs Donaldson told me that I was going to be taking you on into Primary 6 and it was a lovely surprise and I know that Mr Short is also very pleased that we're uh, going to be all working together again. I hope you all have a fantastic summer holiday and I'm looking forward to seeing you all again in August. Take care, bye! Oh, hey, Primary 7. Look who's back. Now, I'm super excited to be coming back and working with you all in August. However, I'm getting the feeling that my lockdown looks not quite serious enough to be working with you. So give me a minute. Now, we've all been away from school for a while, and it is going to be weird coming back in. There are going to be new rules that we all have to follow and for everyone's health and safety. So you are all going to need to be great role models because as primary seven, everyone's going to be looking up to you. I'm still not feeling it. You've all been at Cramond a lot longer than I have. So I don't know all the traditions of primary seven yet, but I know that we're going to have an incredible year together. And you guys are going to make so many incredible memories. Shirt. You're in primary seven now, so we're expecting lots from you this year. And I'm going to be here to help you build the skills that you need, not only to make it to the end of primary seven, 
but through secondary and beyond that too. It's missing something. Sometimes we have to face challenges as we go through life. But all joking aside, primary seven. <laughs> all joking aside, primary seven. I'm so happy to be coming back. I was so excited when Mrs. Donson called me and told me that I was going to be working with you all. So until we see each other next, stay safe, stay happy, and I look forward to seeing you all in August. Hi everyone, it's Mrs. Naeem and I'm going to be your new Primary 7 teacher. I am delighted to be taking you into your final year at Cameron Primary School. For many of you, it was me that was your primary one class teacher and so it makes it even more special that I started the Cameron journey with you and I'll be finishing it with you as well. So a lot has changed since you might have had me as your last teacher. I've had two children. My little girl Huda is four and a half and my wee boy Hamza He's two and a half and they take up a lot of my time especially while we've been at home I've been looking after them but it's been so lovely to spend time with them watch them grow watch them chat and have time to properly play with them which I don't get much of a chance to do when I'm full-time in school So, things that you might find interesting about me, I like to doodle, I like to cook and bake, but in my house nobody else likes to eat the baking and then I have to eat it all by myself so I try not to do it all the time. Um, I also like to go for long walks, I like to go by the beach, that's my favourite place to go, so Craven Beach is one of my favourite places in Edinburgh. I also used to like doing cycling and it's something that I'm really getting back into especially now that Huda is able to cycle with me, uh, we can now start going for longer cycle rides as well. I'm really looking forward to finding out what you like doing and when we come back in August, I'll be taking a lot of time to chat to you and find out about how you've changed since I've had you in primary one, but also find out new and interesting facts about you. you expect with me as your primary seven teacher? Well, I am kind, I'm caring, I like to be very creative in my teaching so not every lesson will look the same but I love my routines so you'll know that Mrs Naeem likes consistency, I like to make sure that you know what is expected of you and I always like to share what your day may look like so whether you are learning at home or whether you are learning in school I'll always set the expectations and I'll have them very high and then you can try your best, and that's all I will ever ask of you, is that you try your hardest. And of course, remember to communicate with me. I like it when people share their ideas with me, but I also think it's very important that we share how we're feeling, especially when things have been so difficult and that we've been away for so long. It's very important that you come to me with any way that you're feeling and nothing is a little deal if it's a big deal to you. So primary seven, enjoy your summer, rest, relax, have fun and recharge your batteries for your final year at Cameron Primary with me. We're going to have lots of new learning, new ideas, but also we'll make lots of lovely, happy memories for you to look back on. I'm really looking forward to August. See you then. Bye.